With Buckwild fastly approaching, I decided to revisit the Ice Age franchise. Oh my god, why does this look so bad? Ice Age is the perfect example of letting a franchise run too long. Congratulations, guys. You are now up there with Hotel Transylvania, Fast and Furious, and even the damn Land Before Time movies. The franchise started off with Ice Age, and to be honest, I have really fond memories with this movie. Little Trey didn't grow up with cable, so we only had two movies to watch, Ice Age and Brother Bear. Those were the only two movies in the entire planet. Out of the two, Ice Age is the one I watch the most. In a couple of months, this movie will turn 20 years old, and honestly, it holds up really well. This movie is about Manny the Mammoth, Sid the Sloth, and Diego the Sabertooth Tiger trying to return a baby back to its people. But Diego is actually working with some other tigers, and they want to kill the humans, but Manny and Sid don't know that yet. Of course, Diego starts to have a change of heart throughout the movie. And speaking of heart, this movie has a lot of it. There's a really emotional moment in this movie movie that is unmatched with the other moments in this franchise that try to be emotional. In the cave scene, we find out why Manny is an absolute dick and closes off everyone he knows. We see through visuals and no dialogue, which was a smart choice, that humans killed his family, and it's absolutely devastating to watch. But the heartbreak turns into a heartwarming moment when he realizes that despite all of this, he still wants the baby to get home to his human family, and that says a lot about this character. Manny's character arc is greatly written, and it's the main anchor of the film that causes this to have an emotional core. slide scene was my favorite moment in cinema as a kid. Action set pieces in this movie aren't really necessary, but this one is just so much fun to watch. Oh no. That was the first mistake I ever caught in a movie. Okay, you got the baby going down the tunnel, right? Then these three follow him in a straight path, and then there's a bunch of sharp objects. How is the baby not dead? When people say babies are ugly, this is who they're talking about. Unlike the other movies in the franchise, the comedy in this film is dry, but it works well within this movie's favor. Still green. They headed north two hours ago. Hey, still green. They headed north two hours ago. Wow, I wish I could jump like that. Wish granted! Scrap? That's my guy. I love this ugly son of a bitch. His moments in the movies are not necessary, but his segments remind me of the old Looney Tunes era. Yeah. What's up, Croc? The best scratch segment in this movie is probably the opening scene. Ice Age is the best movie in the series. It's heartwarming and an absolute solid watch. <laughs> Ice Age 2 is the Empire Strikes Back of the series, if Empire Strikes Back was the worst of the original three movies. In the end word, I must. You can't say that word, Yoda. You I know a lot of people enjoy Ice Age 2. In fact, when I was a kid, this movie slapped. But now it looks like it's just a bunch of filler. The movie is about the herd going to a boat because the ice is melting and it's going to cause everything to flood. But also Manny feels alone because he thinks he's the only mammoth. Stop. Hey, hey, what's that sound? All the mammoths are in the Not ground. Singing, the story could be engaging just like the previous movie's story. But the problem is that it feels like the movie needs to pad out its runtime. There's like a musical segment that's about Oliver, I think. And honestly, it takes about four minutes of the movie's runtime and it adds nothing to the plot. We get one of the most iconic scenes in the franchise, the one where Sid becomes the Fire King and has a tribe of many sloths. As fun as this scene is, it doesn't add anything to the overall plot of the film. The ice melting is a pretty intense threat if you think about it, but the movie feels the need to add these two villains that only show up for about five minutes of the movie's runtime. So the two villains are just really bland. Ellie is a part of the series now and and she is a very welcoming character. The only problem is that she's paired up with Crash and Eddie, who I think might be the two worst characters in the franchise. They're just really annoying and none of their jokes land at all. Ellie and Manny's romance plot is cliche, but it's honestly sweet in a way. So what do the other characters have going on? 
while Diego has the most interesting character arc. Turns out that Diego is scared of water. Wow, so interesting. But wait a minute, wasn't there a scene in the first movie where... The scratch shenanigans are a lot better than they were in the first film, and the scene with him attacking the piranhas is probably my favorite of the bunch. Manny and Ellie's plot is kinda sweet, the rest of the movie just feels like filler and it feels like it doesn't have anything to do with its characters. But one thing I absolutely love about this movie is the advertising. It's god tier. Coming up next, enjoy a show that's been on since before I was extinct, The Simpsons. Seems today that all you see is violence and movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? Lucky, there's a family guy and he's coming up next. Hush, hush. You mean this is animal. I'm your baby and this is mine. Ah, I thought you were a female! I love Ice Age 3. This movie is a huge guilty pleasure for me. I know it's not a great movie, but it's just a lot of fun and it's entertaining. I know this movie series is called Ice Age, but the fact that we get to go into a whole new world that's very tropical-like and jungle-esque is just really fun and engaging. Ellie is now pregnant and Manny wants to keep her safe, but that all fails when Sid is captured by a dinosaur and they all have to go to the Lost World and rescue him. We are finally introduced to the best character of the franchise, Buck the Weasel, who actually brings a lot of stakes to the story because he has an enemy called Rudy that's actually really terrifying. Were you killed? Sadly, yes. But I lived. <sighs> oh. And he really helps this movie become the funniest film in the franchise. And I swung back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back. <gasps> And forth and back and forth. It's not just him though, the other characters are really funny here too. Oh, it's a boy. That's its tail. It's a girl. You're so beautiful. Oh, she is. She looks just like her mother. Thank goodness. Oh, no offense, Manny, no offense. You're beautiful on the inside. Oh, I see someone else who has a bun in the oven. Oh. I'm not pregnant. Ow. It's too bad, you'd make a wonderful mother. Even the Scratch segments are the best in the franchise because he has another squirrel against him now. The best Scratch segment is probably the one where he finally realizes that he doesn't need Nut to survive, if you see what I'm saying. Ice Age 3 Dawn of the Dinosaurs is a lot of fun and absolutely hilarious, and if it was the end of the franchise, it would have been a great ending. That's right, sweetheart. Welcome to the Ice Age. But nah, let's do Ice Age 4, that'll be really fun. I know this is a cartoon, but hear me out. Scrat causes the continents to drift, and Manny, Diego, and Sid are separated from their family, and they have to find a way back. What is happening? Where did that wall come from? This is the moment in the series where there's just way too many characters. And Peaches is now grown up and wants to hang out with Nicki Minaj and Drake. We got pirates now that are villains, which I guess is kind of cool. We get to meet Sid's granny, who's honestly an okay character. She has funny moments. Diego gets a love interest, which is Jennifer Lopez as a tiger. There's just way too many characters now. This movie is just a really weak installment, but I do think I prefer it slightly more than the second film. I genuinely don't have a lot to say about this movie. It's just a really mixed bag. The scrap scenes are okay, but there is one in particular that might be one of my favorites in the entire franchise. In Ice Age Collision Course, Scrat creates the entire universe. He is basically God now. He creates a giant asteroid by accident which is starting to go to Earth and might kill everybody. Please do, because this movie 
freaking sucks. There is only one good scene in this movie. In fact, I think it's great. It's a one long shot of Buck messing with these animals, and it's done really nicely. Since there's five billion characters in this movie, the writers have to give every single one of them something to do. So here are all the plots in Ice Age Collision Course. Manny is sad because his daughter's growing up, and that's the exact same plot as the last one. Sid wants to find love because he's now the only character in the franchise without someone. Anyway, you look nothing like your profile picture. Wow, I didn't know phones existed back then. That's crazy. Each is in her new dumbass boyfriend want to move out and get away from the parents. Diego and Jennifer Lopez keep trying to decide if they want to have kids or not, but they're too scary. Once again, the writers put in some pointless villains, even though the threat of a meteor is a lot more intimidating than three dinosaurs. We really went from this... to this. Is that a llama? I hate llamas. They spit and smell. So does she. So do we! Wow, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see you two in your very own spin-off movie with Buck. Wow. Anyone who's seen my dance party ending videos know I hate dance party endings and this is a movie that does it! How bad can you get? What happened to this franchise? The movie is painfully not funny, and all the plots are boring, so nothing, nothing is interesting in this. I don't even have a favorite scratch segment. They're all just, I don't, I hate this movie, okay? I, I could go on and on about how much I hate this movie, but talking about it just makes me so freaking tired. I'm not the biggest fan of Ice Age. In fact, I do these just for comedic purposes. But rewatching these movies and realizing how much heart the original had and how we escalated down to this is just really saddening. The final line of Ice Age 3 is absolutely great. It's a way to end off the series on a high note. Welcome to the Ice Age. 